Today we are looking at the Ultralight Tactical Vehicle and this is a Lego model I've built and basically it is based on a real life military four seater ATV and I'll put a link to the description in the actual to the website of the actual model of this in real life what it was based on it's not intended to look exactly like it I kind of just took uh, took that idea and made one to match with other models that I have like the combat truck right here but you can see that in a different video but basically this little thing is basically basically a little kind of um not golf cart but like a little security it's like a video you could patrol a, a base or something with to um guard things or to take take troopers around and haul some cargo with and so we'll just look over all the features of it right here and one, one thing you might notice is that the front of this model if you don't even if you didn't notice it's incredibly weak i'll point out why i am working on a stronger design but i will point out why it is incredibly weak later and we have a push bar here we have a some lights and a grill we have the hood i want to put an intake on the hood but um sadly because of the way the weak bit that i talked i just mentioned it is you can, we cannot i cannot put a um intake on the hood at the moment and if you look at the side here we have some little di some gauges and a steering wheel and we have the levers here and those levers just kind of add a little like support for the window not actually supporting but you know it looks like a support and basically as you can probably figure probably figured these jumper plates do allow you to sit a minifigure inside but they don't entire they don't entirely um you can't fit exactly four minifigures what we can do is set somebody in here is you can swing this upward and you can get a minifigure here just sit them down and you can move the steering wheel around a little bit and put it right there swing it back down and sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit for minifigures There are different ways to adjust this right now. Right now, it's a bit looks a bit awkward. There you go. Level it, leveled it out a bit. Now, this minifigure, because he's wearing a say, uh, belt and a tactical vest, he is a little bit um, bigger than a standard minifigure. So, the standard minifigure fits fine inside here. I just happen to have this guy on on hand at the moment. But um, in the back here, we have these roll bars coming down off the back and. We have lights in the back, we have a little pickup bed, and we have rear rear wheels. And that will point out basically now we've gone over all the details. Also light bar up on top. We will point out why it's so weak. And it's hard to tell what on camera right now. So what I'll do is I'll take this part off right here. And I'll take this wheel off. And basically we have a little mini figure mini figure pistol in there. And that acts like and it looks like a shock absorber. So basically there's one going to each axle and that is basically a little extra detail put in there and like I said it does make this model incredibly weak in the front so I'll probably be working on design for it that's a lot simpler without the shock absorbers in the back it's quite solid you know this front end is pretty kind of wobbly but so it might just take it take them out in the front because they're hard to see under this fender anyway much easier to see in the back under it because the bigger fender so yeah we'll see how it goes Basically, instructions will be available for this, and I'll put there'll be a link in the description. So, to get them when they do come out, and basically, you can have a second minifigure here. I have a second minifigure here. So you could, if technically, if you had four minifigures like this guy right here with no tactical vest or belt, you could s roughly seat four. If you make two slightly offset, offset out on this side and in on that side, but um. Basically, we can you can see this guy um, right here. We have two guys in there, or you could put him sideways, or you put him in the back seat, and either way, and it'll fit at least two minifigures. So that's it for today's video, and thanks for watching.